I have a pretty deep voice for a lady. Uh, pretty deep. Like when my male friends do impressions of me, they like lower their voice to do an impression. <laughs> But uh, I was just watching that cartoon Beauty and the Beast recently, and I don't know if you guys remember, but one of the opening songs, like the whole town is singing a song about how weird they think Belle is. Yeah, like they can't get over it. They're like, <laughs> they're like, Belle's fucking weird. And we don't know her deal is. Someone's got to figure this out. And I was like watching it, and I was like, Bella doesn't seem that weird to me. Like, she seems fine. <laughs> She's got like a cute blue dress on, and like a nice ponytail, you know? <laughs> I was like, is like the weird thing that Belle like knows how to read? Like what? Yeah. What are you getting at? because I feel like the much weirder part comes later when, uh, yeah, she like fucks that beast. <laughs> yeah. I know, I was like, why isn't the town singing about this? Like they should get on this. Definitely. Where's the candlestick? Like, where's, where's the teapot? It's like, where's the bidet? Let's get him in here. See what he has to say. <laughs> but it was probably, like, hard being Belle. It was probably kind of sad sometimes. Yeah, it can be, like, sad being a woman sometimes. It's true. That's why our breasts are shaped like teardrops. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I just moved back to LA, uh, my hometown, and my dad is there, and he just finished like this year-long rehab program. It was really intense for him. And interestingly enough, it was like a Jewish rehab program, which I like didn't even know they had those. Yeah, and now he's not Jewish anymore. So, uh, <laughs> pretty effective. <laughs> But, um, I'm always trying to, like, eat healthy and, like, be a healthy person. Like, you know what is so delicious but is unfortunately filled with mercury? Yeah, thermometers. That is exactly what it is. <laughs> but I, um, I actually do have some health issues. I have a thyroid condition called Graves' Disease, which, yeah, it's a bad name for a disease. Uh, it sounds <laughs> much worse than it is, like, I'm fine. <laughs> but uh, I was, like, researching the disease, and the first thing I Googled was celebrities with Graves' Disease. So I was like, this will make me feel better. I don't know why, but it will. And, I found out that the singer Missy Elliott has Graves' disease, and like, there is no one cooler than Missy Elliott. So I was like, I know, exactly. So I was like, this makes me feel a lot better. Um, like, you guys know that song she does, Work It? Yeah, where she's like, you're filming playing the empanada. <laughs> Yeah, that is a symptom of the Graves' disease. <laughs> that is a fact. Uh, I was a Girl Scout growing up. Um, thank you. Yeah. 
All right, one Girl Scout. All right, no. Please, you guys relax. Um, <laughs> but when you're a Girl Scout, they like give you a Girl Scout handbook that tells you how to be a Girl Scout. It's pretty complicated stuff. And there was one section where it like lays out each like type of Girl Scout. Like it showed you like the littlest like Daisy Girl Scout, and then it shows you like the Brownie Girl Scout and the Junior Girl Scout. And then it shows you a picture of like the Senior Girl Scout, and in that photo, the girl was in a wheelchair. <laughs> and now like as an adult, I like fully realize like, of course they're like trying to promote diversity. Like they want to show that anyone can be a Girl Scout. But like as a child, <laughs> Like, at the time, I was like, what happens exactly, like, in between <laughs> being a junior and senior girl student? Like, what is that, what does that process look like? <laughs> I was like, do we, like, go to war? Like, what do I... <laughs> What do I have to do? <laughs> Did we like finally fight the Boy Scouts? Like is this... <laughs> is this the final brawl? I don't know. <laughs> but I, um, I love to learn new things. I was on the internet and I came across a word I didn't know. It was the word overzealous. And Ah, you laugh. I hear your chuckles. <laughs> but I looked it up and I was like, all right, dictionary, what does overzealous mean? And the dictionary was like, oh yeah, uh, that means too zealous, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, all right, well, what does zealous mean? Like? Does that mean? And then the dictionary is like, yeah, zealous, of course. Um, that means showing zeal, actually. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know if you guys knew that the dictionary had an attitude problem. Um, real mouth on the dictionary. <laughs> and, and then I looked up what zeal meant, and I was like, this is probably it. <laughs> and I was like, well, what does zeal mean? And then the dictionary was like, well, zeal means like showing determination towards like a goal you might have. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I just showed that in five year definitions. <laughs> this is a twisted lesson? This sucks. I, um, I am lucky I have a boyfriend who goes down on me. Uh, um, uh, I'd say rather overzealously. Word again. Yeah. Um, and sometimes when he's going down on me, I like to put NPR on. I know. Those books. Tones, it just suits me. Kind of <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I call it Radiohead, actually. <laughs> 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 um, but uh, me and my boyfriend, we do like to play this one game in a bed called Psych. Have you guys heard of this game? It's great, it's wonderful. This is how we play. Um, I'll like start sucking my boyfriend's penis. <laughs> right? And then I'll be like, psych. Um, <laughs> I'm going to sleep. Alright, I'm gonna do that. Thank you so much. <laughs>